Welcome back for another QNT price prediction analysis. And in this video, I will be giving you areas that QNT needs to continue holding above and also see a break above for us to continue expecting higher prices. I will also be giving you reasons why I believe that QNT bottomed at around the $84.5 mark. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, QNT is holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart, which is now acting as a resistance for us to continue gearing up. And the next key area of resistance that we need to see a break above is at around the $110.9 mark. And a break above that we can watch out for a retest before we can easily see QNT continue giving us higher prices and break above the $120 mark in the next coming days. And in case such a movement doesn't play out and we see much of a rejection over here, continue seeing for the weakness. Then I'm expecting the significant area of support at around the $100 mark to continue holding. And as long as you continue holding above that, you can expect another massive bounce to the upper side, breaking above resistance. And jumping to the daily chart to first give you reasons why I believe that QNT has now given us a low at around the $84.5 mark. Here on the chart, you can see my long-term ADO 12 analysis, where you can see that after getting our lows at around the $100 mark, we saw that massive push to all-time highs at around the $429.7 mark, which was a 4x to the upper side. And after seeing the, uh, the all-time high, we started a bear market where we had been seeing a bit of a corrective move into the area at around the $40.1 mark, where we saw our bear market low. And after seeing the bear market low, we continued to obey the ADO 12 structures, where you can now see that we picked in a five we've moved to the upside getting a high above the 229 dollar mark completing the formation of these larger area 12 count one and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave two in a move that has been giving us a bit of a pullback and has also given us a low at around the 84.5 dollar mark almost fully maximizing my minimum target area highlighted on the charts using this red target area. And there are high chances that we now have a low in place for the second wave. And QNT is now ready for a massive pump to the upper side in the formation of this wave three. And giving you minimum target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave, I get a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618, and that is at around the $387.4 mark. And that is the minimum that we can expect QNT to do in the formation of that wave three to the upper side. So on the short term, I have said to you that QNT needs to break above the $110.9 mark with a retest for us to continue expecting higher prices and get above the $120 mark. But in case we continue seeing further weakness on the charts, then expect the key area of support at around the $100 mark to continue holding. And on the worst case scenario, in case we lose the $100 mark, expect even lower prices to the area at around the $97.3 mark where we have our next major key area of support where we can get another massive bounce back. So that is what I'm keeping my eyes on, on the short term and also on the long term. And I hope that video was of much help to you.